what is it? Greetings, my friends. Ria Daiweed here again. It's been some time since I have spoken by way of Yisraya Eofi Joseph. I want to give you just a simple tour today. Uh, we are in our feast times. And I wanted to put something up on Keith Ray Metz just to give you a view of what we are accomplishing and what we are doing. I want to, first of all, feed my fish. Let's do that first. It is quite hot here. It's dangerously hot. Temperature is about 98, but the real field is around 101 uh, degrees. Let me feed my fish. Come on with me. Let us see how you're doing. And then we're going to do discuss and see what we have done this year so far. Just beginning for the year of planting. Come on up closer now. Here we get there. These are my... I do that, they all come running. Look at them. They all come running. Look at them. You're only supposed to feed them what they will eat at that moment. This time of weather is hot, this time of the year. It's quite hot here in South Carolina. But I'll overdo it because I want them to get back. Big. Too much. That's enough for now. So I've got to watch it out filming me. I like doing it myself. So I can use the camera and show you what I want. All those things. So, this is us. Just give them a pan, my friend. Show them what. The place where we fellowship right here. We just had the graduation. Two graduated. Let me say this in the state of South Carolina. We are a certified school here. And so our curriculum and our certificates are the same as the school system of South Carolina. It's not that difficult in this state as it would be in New York State or Cincinnati, those kinds of places. This is a very liberal state when it comes to your religious practice. They don't intervene. The only thing we have to do once a year or when they come is that they will come and inspect our school, the curriculum, and see how the children and all that. They really don't have any personal uh, words or anything with the children. They simply want to inspect. So this is where we have the graduation. You that have not seen We built this here. This is where we have fellowship, back here and all that. Uh, we got to get our shade off and everything. Right? So come on, put it here. This is a card. I want to see that. Enjoy. Enjoying and how we're doing things. Uh, to getting things done. I will say to us all, you need to feed yourself. You need to find some way to make provisions. Growing some food. If it's nothing but a simple avenue like I will show you right now. Come on. Let me show you. These are all of our toads, many of them, we wash them and make sure they're ready for the fall garden. Now I began to plant. Uh, this is how we got to plant July. We began to plant the first of July, okra and things like that. You can plant okra here in July, you can plant it here in August, uh, and I believe September. I could be wrong on that, but September. This is the kind of growing season we have. The only time you cannot plant here is in the month of December. You can plant garlic and January. We can grow food all year long. And that's what we do here. Only turns your thing, but this is where it all begins here. Sales are clean, very clean. And we all should, should, surely, we also make sure we inoculate them. And the bacteria and all that, we kill all that with, with a simple solution. It's simply peroxides, hydrogen peroxides. You can do it if you want to. Let me show you some simple facts. Come on with me. Come on, watch. We can't even eat everything that we grow. All of this lettuce, we can't even eat it. 
We'll feed it to the chickens, the cows, and all of them. Turn, turn, turn the volume off on that, please, man. Just turn it off for now. And um, this is why I do things right here. Right here. It's a lot of fun. You can take something like this and cut it halfway. You grow a lot of things in there. You can put a tomato plant, you can put carrots in there. They're companion planting. And these things will do well with each other. The tomatoes and everything are coming in. Isn't that a beautiful tomato? And look at that. Come on, bring that up close so we can see it. Beautiful tomato. We got all kinds of things. Beautiful peppers coming. See that? Beautiful parsley. tree. All of that. You can grow food. You mean they cannot raise a cow, but you can raise chicken. We got this blight on some of the tomatoes. So we got to get and find the solution for that. You're going to have problems like that. We got beautiful carrots here. Look at this. Little carrots. I got this concept from one off YouTube how they plant carrot seeds with in these egg egg trees, and you will never have weeds or nothing like that in there, there, nothing. It's pretty hot here, but that's where I want to show you some things. These old carrots here. Over here we got all kinds of things. We got cucumbers growing. We know all this is organic. And no chemical fertilizers put on this, never. I've never done that, no 10, 10, 10, any of that. So we got cucumbers everywhere here. And a different, and a different kind, all kinds of cucumbers, all right? We got squash. These plants here, I'll find out what has caused the death of these. I'll pull them up. But, uh, ah, yeah, I see what it is. Those ants. I'll throw that here. But uh, we got cucumbers, this is squash. We're eating squash here. Zucchinis and all my friends. Look at this. Cooks and everything. We can't eat it all. If you were close by, you could come and pick. All of this here. Cucumbers. Squash. You can squash on the vine here. And I love me some fried squash. You know, I don't. I love fried squash. We all this lettuce and stuff like that. We can't eat it all. Lettuce beds. Look at that. Everywhere. This is what the nation must do. You must feed yourself. You know what you're getting out of the stores. You can. It doesn't take much. We as a nation of people, we're very selfish and very insecure. We are very self. We don't know the word of Yah. We don't. But I'm talking about all your great leaders. I'm not afraid to say that. Walk up front for me, son. I don't want you to feel me from the back. Just kind of stay like that, all right? Be careful. So look, let us take a look at what we have here. I showed you this. We got tomatoes and everything. Look at all this right here. Everything you need. College and everything. What are these? These are from Georgia Southern College. Come on, my friend. You can't find nothing like that in your stores. No chemical pesticides or nothing like that. You can't find that. Carrots to the galore. Look at this. Carrots everywhere. They're growing. All this, look at this, this uh, scarlet kale. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tronchuto and everything. Look at all this lettuce right here. Look at that. Broccoli here. Just cut it the other day. Yesterday I did the broccoli. Our women are getting fat. Men are getting fat, they're growing obesely. There is no shape or anything that we're in. Cabbages and everything. Look at all this kale here. Look at this. Look at this. 
I would eat some, but I'm too full. Look at this. Beautiful kale. Beautiful kale. No chemicals, no synthetic form of anything. You wonder why our minds are messed up and your children, they don't have to riddling. They're getting it from what everything is processed. There are things we purchase, but I, when it comes to things like this, I want to grow it. I do. I've been here 28 years. And because we are so selfish and uncaring, we think everyone is like me. You don't give a knicker's worth of cats down about any. Well, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, stop it. So this is kill here. Come on, my friends. Tomatoes here. You see a little old bed like that? You can buy something, two or three like that. Go online. Containers. You can find them. You can almost plant them at your apartment. Look how many tomato plants we got in here. And look what is interspersed between the tomato plants. Carrots. 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 We're going to have problems at time like we planted, planted those Japanese beans here. We didn't do well this year. And we also put uh, beans uh, and uh, reap. Gardens here. Look at this bed over here. I just want to give you just a little view today. Something for this evening. All these pepper plants. All of this. I just didn't want to do this by myself today. I just, all of this. Look what we have. Peppers, we gotta get these staked up tomorrow. We don't need to grow all of this. Everything over here, some you know, collars and everything. Broccoli and all of that, look at that. Cabbages and everything in this bag. Broccoli's going to seed. We have learned, all of us, a very selfish lifestyle that is corrupt. We have learned a very corrupt, selfish lifestyle. And I say it with no pun, we don't care about each other. We are great pretenders. We spouse this falsehood. Don't tell me you love me. I don't want you to tell me that. You don't know what love is. You can live with some of the most wickedest people there. You're living in an apartment, like an animal in a cage, raising hell all around you, but yet you are so full of pride, you cannot allow yourself to say it's me, yeah, and move in a simple environment whereby we're in no cult. You can call us an occult. Well, we will be one, because Yah is an occultist, that he, it, he commands his people to obey. He commands us to live with each other. We care. Let's move down a little. All these beds we built, all this bamboo, Caucasian woman, we had to cut it, she gave it to us. We got dealt with that amount on the other side. We have a community. We have a viable living community. But what do you do? They take your money? Well, let me ask you a question. Does the landlord take yours? Everyone that lives here, they give half of what they make. You do what you want, do what the other half. But you don't live nowhere in the world free. Nowhere. Look at all these beautiful tomatoes here. Look at this. Look at all these. We gotta harvest these tomorrow. Look at all this. Fresh. Tomato sandwiches, my... Next to the oldest brother would say my made a sandwich. We are a cold people, especially you that are of my heel. You have learned to be selfish and wicked. You have learned the way I used to have this engagement with this Caucasian. Look at all the cabbages. He would say to people of my heel, you black people, you have become as wicked as white people. And he was a wicked dog that I had to set him straight. But he said, you all were not that way. And that's a fact. Let's look here. Oak salad, man. you know. No, you city folks don't know. Wild poke salad that grows 
let me show you this here. This is one of the most wonderful things for your body right here. I eat this with just plain eating it. I can eat this, I can wrap it up, and make a wrap out of this. And this is called New Zealand spinach. The two best food training one is spinach, kale. Make sure you get my face, all right? This is simply delicious here. It grew on the heat, grew on the cold. You wonder why your children are acting wild and crazy? You think those teachers care? You know, away from around you. I must replenish my body. And old man, I'll be 70. 70, the birthday, when it comes. When, don't worry. We walk down this course. I love corn. I love it on the cob. We have some of the most sweetest and best corn you could put your lips on. There you that have a, enough space in your backyard, you could build a garden like this. Beans, interact and interchange with tomatoes and all those things and carrots. It is called what we call companion planting. Beans and everything. We got okra here. As a matter of fact, I will plant uh, next week, 1st of July, I will plant at least 300 okra plants and put them out. I can, we can plant okra here next month, July, August, and September. Where can you do that? Unless it's somewhere like Cali. And okra need this hot, humid type weather. You can have okra all the time. Look at the okra. We got okra, we got tomatoes. We're change it because they're companion. Okra here. A little raised bed like this. Fresh tomatoes. Look at that. Huh? Mmm. This here. So my grandmother would say you get your made a sandwich. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the corn. Mmm. I've already eaten. I'm full as a beast already. Mm. Let me show you something. It's hot out here. Uh, this is what I drink to hydrate me. You see that? You see that? You see that beautiful corn right there? That's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Straight off the cob. You don't have to cook it. Just corn. Just fresh corn. And this is no pretense. I eat it like this. The world has taught you people on my hill, put it on me, just to hate those that look like you. I don't believe you're, you're, you're right by people, I'll tell you what. Isn't it amazing that you believe what the doctor tells you? He tells you you got incurable cancer, you buy it all. You believe every word he says, he's your God. Mm. That is so sweet and delicious. And all kinds of corn in here. Look at that broccoli there. I'm sure I'm going to go on the sea, but look at that. Hmm? So we have corn, tomatoes, and beans. These are, look at those tomato plants. Look at that. Tell your husband to be your bed like that size. Look at that. Fill it up with wonderful dirt, compost, organic. You'll be surprised what that will feed a family of four or five. Five tomato plants, you get one that will go for, begin to produce in about 65, 70 days, one that'll go 90 days, one that'll go 110 days, one that'll go 125 days. This is tough here.
Dan wil ik dit. Mm. Let it rot. Look at this. This is beans right here. See that? Ah, contenders. Look at this. We'll pick all of this tomorrow. Beautiful tomatoes. Look at that. You see that? Tomatoes and beans interchange. Some, there's some plants we just let drop. You can do that with tomatoes. All this broccoli, we harvest, we couldn't even eat it all. Have it. You see, there's nothing wrong with that. Take that off. You see that? Look at this corn. We'll harvest some more tomorrow. Look how it's laying down. Besides, if you hate people of my hue so much, you can't even trust nobody. Ah. Nice. <clears throat> As a child, we would eat these cherries. All the time. Mm. And I'm full as a pig. I've had baked potato, collard greens, a few slices of vegan bacon. I like to taste it. You see that, my friends? All these tomatoes. Look at all those beautiful tomatoes. Different kinds. See that? See that? Boom. This world has twisted your mind that you will hate someone who's trying to understand love. And don't tell me hypocrites. You know what love is, we are liars. We don't even, we don't even keep his mitzvot, the mitzvah of Yahweh with a sincere heart. He commands us and tell us, you that said you love him, keep not his commandments, you're a liar. Now the truth is not in you. You Sunday devils, I, I am not apologizing for my language. You let these preachers rape, give you money and everything. Don't get put out because she has nothing for you. We're gonna make sure we get these tomatoes to our side. All this food we have, all of this. Yeah, I'm being cruel today and rude. I really am. Because I see the people that say they're the sons of Yisrael, the daughters of Tezayon, they have a great despising of one another. They will lie on each other. They will do evil. They will bring accusations that are false. Something is sick with that. I don't care what you think about me. I'm an old man. Oh, sure, a little more. I feel that one. We have a beautiful place. We have an extremely beautiful place. We don't live in a rat hole like you may live in some of these cities. We don't have no rats here. And I will never allow anyone to come in here and try to disrupt this. I don't care if you give me a million dollars. By the way, give me a million if you got it. Simplicity of our life. Remodeling our swimming pool right here, you can see. We're gonna build us a and I told the young man, because they haven't been able to swim this year, we have one of those above ground. We want to do it out of cinder blocks. And they're all going to help build that. We're going to build us a swimming pool. We have every kind of skill set. See that well right there? That well supplies water to this entire community, every building you see. We don't drink that, but you piss in and they put chemicals in to clean it and return it back to your house. What a wicked shit.
That well right there, this water here, if you drink Deer Park water, we have 20 minutes from here, Deer Park, they, the reservoir, they draw it from here. What do you think you're getting back in that filthy water in these cities? No, you're not bringing your children here to cause no hell here. They must be disciplined and in order. You're not coming here just to do your thing. That's not how it works. Everybody participates. They help and they share with each other. We don't have no welfare mamas here. You're not gonna come here on welfare. You have to get that up. Because we eat well every day. This here, tell you that may not have ever seen. This is our graveyard. These are the ones that are dead. Siding six on that. For the what's called side. For the have fires out here. Just fellowship. You all don't want nobody there. How do you know that? We want people that sincere. To seek ya. You may have more than me. Bring it on, let's put it to work. We have places of fellowship and all. I really just want to show you the community garden. Let's let's go in here. Is this open sound? Can we go in the back door? Yes, sir. We built this. Cheap. These people that leave certain communities, I don't even want to mention the dog down there in Tennessee. They raped your daughters, put them up for sale, and you all buy that from that crazy man. He knows me, I knew him before you did. A fool of a fool. He's not going to get by with it because his mentor was just like that, R.G. Steer. And this dog down here in Tennessee, I don't even want to mention the dog's name. He knows me. They know me. Raping the young daughters. Listen, people. I'm getting close to 50 years of marriage. The only woman I know is my Isha. I'm better looking than them. As an old man. I know that woman. I've been faithful to no one but that woman who has taught me in the sense of honor from me, the power of great strength from the wisdom of the word of Yah. We don't like that. We don't want men like that. We want weaklings because we're weak. I'm not apologizing to no one. If you don't like me, it's all right. I don't like me. Let's walk inside here. Gotta keep me some, some rehydration. Oh, sun zaps. This is the place here where we come fellowship. I gotta get my fish in here this week. But this is a place we fellowship. Turn that light on, son. We built everything here. Look at the color, look at the ceilings and all of that. All of this furniture come from, I buy everything from Habitat Resale. This is a very beautiful place. We got a place that is beyond the beauty of this, for the doors. And that's a fact. I say to you, not one of you, we are even permit you to move here. You're not coming here to give instructions. You're coming to learn. A lifestyle that is simple and real and genuine. We welcome all Yisraeli. I've had the war. You're no preacher if you do that. Well, how do you know what to do when you've never lived this way? The 
whole concept of our lives, it has been built on selfish nature. As a child, you were selfish. We're still childish. I want to paint this. Yo, look at this basketball court. We used to play ball here. That dog in Tennessee, I used to like the way he played because he was a baller. And I'm a monster. Back in those days, I was a monster. But he could play. I won't take that from him. And he would come visit quite frequently. He did not get the concept of community lifestyle from me. He got it from R.G. Stair, where I met him. And when R.G. Stair began to rape, he was doing it. I told, I told, now I want you to hear this. I told the deputy, I started to go down and kill him. He said, oh, react that we're glad you did because we'd have found you. And I'm glad I did. But that's the kind of righteous anger I had in me. You don't rape a young woman. And you parents that are that ignorant, you will let a man command over your child like that? Oh, yeah. I believe in the messenger of your finding beautiful daughters for sons. And showing them she would be an excellent wife. The man behind the camera, I married him. Someone sent me some money looking for this man. The basketball coat for me, son. I want to just paint that, just take paint and throw it on there. Just any colors you got paint you want to give me, exterior paint, and just make this a colossal beauty that when the planes fly, fly over whomever, they will see a beautiful sight. I can't play ball like I used to too old. But I played it every day. I don't care how hard I work. I play me some basketball. This is I love me some ball. You see that home there? There are you that haven't seen what's here. That's a beautiful home. How many bedrooms does it have? One, two, three, four, four. Big old huge bathroom. No work needs to be done. That would be a beautiful place for a family. You're not coming here with your children doing their thing and thinking your children are better than someone else's and they are independent of everyone else. No, you don't do that. We eat in our dining hall and we all come to eat. You're not having your little separate dinners. You have them now what they have created. Your son is a fool, your daughter is sluttish. I don't, I don't repent. I know the real world. This is our greenhouse. You see all these buckets here? We're gonna grow this year. We haven't grown here in a while. In this greenhouse. It's hot in here, big body. But we're gonna come in here. Now that we say hello. And hang cherry tomatoes, tomatoes and cute from the ceiling, and plant buckets here of all kinds of uh, all kinds of tomatoes and everything. And we eat from this during the winter. We eat from this place right here. That's what we will do. Hydrating. I know this is a rough video. Listen. This world is so vicious to you. It takes your daughters, your sons. Destroy the nature of your young daughter. She doesn't even know what she is. There's so many of those that say the Hebrew is like their sons and daughters of homosexuality and all of that. And that's a fact. We've been led with lies. We led by lies even with the feast days. And these men have lied to you. How can you have a feast day one year to the next? You utilize a lunar calendar, which is 353 days. Examine, go back to last year, 353 days. The next year from the 353 will be 354. And then there must be an interculary. And then it will go to 384 or 385. That's how, that you get it back to the spring. And they will tell you, oh, y'all sure we got it this spring. That's a lie. He gives us a calendar. And the only group of people I know, the sons of Abraham, through Hagra, in their Muslim feast days, they're the only ones that do that. This is a Jewish thing. They will say, y'all spoke to my daddy. You're a liar. He did not speak to your daddy. He speaks by Yoshua Hamashiach. 
nothing else. And that's the power of his living word. He speaks by that word. You're not hearing any voices, but your own. Let me show you this. We're going to check back. Beautiful place here. We built everything. He was a young boy when he came here. He's a grown man. Two sons. This is a beautiful place. It's hot. But it's a very beautiful place, Station. Just pan that so they can see everything, son. And around here. All these beds were beds of plants. Make sure we will pour everything from this garden here. Anyone that doesn't love the children of Yisrael, something is sick with them. You don't abuse them. You don't take advantage of them. You don't use the daughters, those that are weak among us. You strengthen them. Daughters, you don't talk the tries to your husband. You just listen to me. You don't know how to honor. But Yah tells you to honor the husband. And he tells you, man, to love the wife. And her honor is your strength to understand what love is. And we don't have that today, my friends. We have a group of fledgling, weak, weak ones as men. Can I ask you all to do me a favor? You go to IUIPC or UPK or whatever, any of those people is like, and look how they talk about women. They call them the B-I-T-C-H. They call them a W-H-O-R-E. You want to get down, come to our feast days. You tell me the feast days about you getting down? These are dirty bastards. They don't care about your young daughters. They say the same thing over and over. You're not free from your wickedness, Hebrew Israelite. You're scattered the seed of Yisrael into every part. I'm an old man. I'll be 70. And I know when those clowns began, especially in New York, they were calling Africa a dirty dog. They were spit on one. Off any of that continent. Where are they all now? Oh, oh, you got Africans, Hebrew Israelite? He scattered his people. He puts. He scattered them to every part of the world. They come in the creamiest of white, of what we call whiteness, to the blackest of that which is of Ethiopia. They went everywhere. And that's a fact. And you bought the stupidity. Is of the loins of Avraham that the strength projects the very will of Yah. And you have powerful men. They're not afraid of them. I'm not afraid of any man. I don't need a shotgun, but I do have them. I don't need a 45, but I do have one. For what? Well, we get wild dogs and all that here. Not to take care of them. You don't want no human dog to come here. You're not even welcome. But you're not coming here. I say that plainly. You're not coming here and trying to subdue anyone or you're going to spread your truth. You're full of lies. And many people are afraid to say that. But true Hebrew Israelite. What is a true Hebrew Israelite? What is the seed, the Zerah of Abraham? What do they look like? With the sons of Hagar, the princess, they just say you will be you will be twelve princes, a czar, or that of the same seed of Abraham, they come out of his loins. He just chose Yisrael as his election. But they are the sons of Yisrael. These men are liars. All of them. I don't respect any of them. Oh, I, I want to get them aroused. I pray that this. Video go viral. React <laughs> with Israel. It before you, telling you the truth. We are in our feast days now, but I'm going to do some most dynamic teaching 
on the lives of the feast days. Do me a favor, you that hear this. Every three years, you're going to have a 13th month. Every second, you depend on how things are organized, you're going to have a 13th month. When the Torah talks about a 13th month, they never explain that to you, do they? They know you're gullible and ignorant as cats, dumplings. They know that. They don't know. That's why they were tricked by it. Count your days. Do me a favor. The last three years, you got your dates of your feast days. Count from, from 2021 20, to 2022, from 2022 to 2023, from 2023 to 24. From 23 to 24, you had a 385-day year. What is the year of Yah? They know you're dumb and ignorant. This, we had a beautiful orchard, but it's still beautiful. I have no complaints about our living conditions or anything. We eat extremely well. We get health and fat like me. We educate our children. That's what we do. And we built this place. We built this place. He was young, but he helped build this place. He's been teaching their sons. And they are, the, the, the sons of these men around here, they are pretty tough marksmen. I'm telling you. They are tough with a, with uh, a rifle. When I was in the military, I'm a Vietnam era, non-combat veteran. I joined during the time, I volunteered during the time that we were still in Vietnam. I had two brothers, I had three brothers drafted. All three are dead. The two went to Nam, they came back and messed them up. The third one, he was sick, high blood pressure and all that. So they rejected him. I volunteered. I was speaking to my wife today. I said, it is amazing that the men that I met in there during that time, that was a captain. I don't know why he liked me. I was not a likable person. And we were up in Grafenfield. It was when all of the NATO's alliance, they gather in Europe on the Rhine River. The French soldiers, the Italian of every nation, for some reason, that captain, the lieutenant, I don't know what would happen to my life. He liked me. Captain said he was a, come on, you want to ride with me? He was a helicopter pilot. Do it now. He had been shot twice. He's a very kind man. And I was crying today. I said, Ima, I don't know. Even in all those circumstances, y'all had his hands on me because I was running from him. I did that because I didn't want to hear what he was saying to me. He used all of that. He did. I will honor the people of Yah, but I will let no one dishonor no one here. I don't dishonor anyone. No one has to live here. No one is under sh sh shackles and chains. We have cars, you go get your one. Just take it and leave. We came into this world. I'm going to teach that with nothing. That it is a true thing. You take nothing with you but a testimony. We're messed up, nation. Just think of what we could have done. This piece of land that we own, it doesn't belong to me. It's incorporated. His father's name is on this. So me just said, I ain't going to sell it, kick the people off. I had it that way. I could have just put it in my name. Nah, that would be wicked. It's incorporated. And there's one thing about this land. Shoot up there. Watch it up. We see, we have our own radio station. It's a little problem, but we have one. The people of my hill, listen to this. The people that look like me, Turn it back on me. The people that look like me, when that opened up, they wanted to open up for people of our year. So the Caucasians, they would have those that would join together, they have repeaters, and they could broadcast all over the United States. Well, how many do the Hebrew Israelites own? The leaders. 
getting on the corner raising hell and calling the women of my hill some of the most filthiest vile names. Dogs, what they call them. That's what a pure B-I-T-C-H is. I can say it. it's not a curse word. They call them dogs and sluts and hoes. Make me a liar. They belittle them. That's why they have more than one. I'm a liar. A real one. The fact of the matter. All they do is do something for a few minutes and that's it. They don't understand the beauty of truly love. The intimacy of love. You would never want someone else. How do I know? Because you're sure how many she is. We're his bride. When he goes into us, when he comes into us with this living word, he's not going to just step off because he loves us. We've been taught lies, nation. It is so cool right there. I don't want to move. We've been taught some of the most filthiest corrupt lies and you can imagine. We had trees all in here. We eat everything from palms to apples. But they're going to the bad. We're going to, we're going to establish another one for you. We got our Martins then to have us with bugs and everything. That's what these gourds are for to bring them in. We do welcome the people of Yah. Usually the first time when one comes, we don't let them stay here. Tell them to get a hotel because you're not going to cause disruption. You may see something you don't like, and you're going to try to straighten us out. That's not going to happen. Stop that. You would have heard me, all right? So that was something that attracted your ears. See those homes up there? We purchased them since we've been here. We have a huge slot of land across the road there. From my front door, the end of our property back, it's over a mile. That speaks, doesn't it? That speaks. It's for him, his sons, and their wives. Fact. Fact of the matter. Barbershop right here. He cuts my hair. That house right there, can I tell you how we got it? Yeah, you that have never heard the story, can I tell you how we got that house? There's an old Caucasian, white people are like me. I don't play games with them. I don't talk to bulls. I, I don't play and I don't sneak on and laugh at their jokes. Have you heard this joke preach? I said, I don't tell jokes. It's not nice. I said, I want to hear your jokes. I don't play with no man. Oh, white boy, I met him. He was born in that house. He was seven years old when I met him. He gave it. He gave me that house. It's a beautiful apartment on the back side. It's a barbershop. This is a beautiful place. I love it. It's hot, but it feels wonderful. We built that tabernacle there. We built everything in there. Every... We built it. Look at the Martins. This is totally nice, man. What time is it? Okay, we have time to get that out. I just wanted to give you this tonight because uh, we're not having service. We're going to have service Friday for the last great day and Shabbat. I'll teach in Zakim. We'll teach Friday evening, the sixth day of the evening. Well, my agenda until the feast days began is to show you the lies of your feast days. And the cowards will not debate me. You must show me, I'll tell you what, you know, you have to show me in Torah. Show me in what a year is. It's a year 353 days, 354, 350, I'm sure a year is that. Because it's the year that Yah gave us at the time. It is a lunar year. It will take three, 33 years, every day it drops back 11 years. For you to get to that springtime again, it will take 33 years. What was the death of Yahshua Hamashiach? They don't know specifically, but it was around 33 years. 
and we celebrate him. And so in a lifetime of a man, he may, if he lives 99, started when he was first born, he may see three in the spring. And we go through the different climates. Oh, yeah. And so it's reverse. And these men have taught us lies. As I said to us, go on the internet and search out, just type in 13th month, origin, Heliae. I'm going to teach on this with great application after our feast day is over with. Now we celebrate Tabernacle now. This is our community. Our website has been has been put up. We have renewed our website. Some of our team are fishing at one of our ponds. You can see the tents up and everything. We have the tents. These are the young daughters here. We keep an eye on them. But I trust you are in all things, nation. I'm not a thief, I'm not a liar, I'm not a robber. We built all of this. Everything you see, when I came here, 28 years ago to be 29 next year, there was nothing here but ticks and rattlesnakes. I knew nothing. I knew nothing. I didn't know anything. To know how to how to do things, but I knew how to do everything because I know how to be quiet and listen. And I learned there's not one thing here I didn't have my hand in it. From the orchestration of the building, cornerstones, I knew that doesn't take from the army, and they were the finishers. I didn't spray your spray paint in that day. But I put all the sand in here. I basically did all the sand, cheap sand. That's not the best. That's not sandbox sand because we didn't have the money. But our babies love it. Nice trampoline and all of that. We have to be sincere nation. We have to learn. You can't love, learn to love nobody unless you're near them. Close to them. Now you live in communities you don't even know who, who your neighbors are. I heard one group of Hebrew Israelites, those that are, I don't even know what I want to call, I can call them that. And they were boasting how the community they live in, that they've all bought houses in there. That's crazy as cats boo-boo. You're spending $200,000 for a house, five minutes. I would buy me a piece of land. We pay for this piece of land here, the first piece, 25,000. And when the old Caucasian woman sold this to Mr. C, she had to make sure that there were no Caucasians. That's right, in this area. So she sold all the people of our hue, land on this side, and on the other side of Highway 150, 601, she sold that to Caucasian because she could not integrate. She literally gave it away to them. He paid $5,000. They did not survey land, they plotted it. They came, I said, man, what do you think of a mess there on Jimmy boy? Uh, look at everything, guys, here's about 50 acres. They guess. And when the surveyor surveyed, he said to me, you made out royally much more than 50 acres of land. This line here, and everyone that lived here know this, it is one of the richest deposits of gold right in here and water. Deer Park, right down 20 minutes from us here. That's where all your Deer Park water from the southeast and all come from, Midwest, right here. Pristine water. We drink it every day. We drink that kind of water every day. We don't need no purifier, nothing. We do have purifiers in our system. This is the only way you're gonna learn how to care for the nation, even among them. 
You live among your kin folks, don't you? They raise hell and drink and get drunk. You still live among them, don't you? Ah, oh, what a beautiful place. I love it. I would trade my lifestyle for a million dollars. Because if I did that, it would only make me selfish. What do you think a million dollars would really do? You buy a house, quarter of a million dollars. You pay your taxes. You see, I know what it would do for us here. These blocks right here on this pool, on this pond. I laid all of them. I built this. I did. That building there. Let them see that deck. 90% of that deck is from throwaway wood. Man at the Lama Company, he will bring me the wood. He said, if I teach you, you will use it. I have delivered wood to people. I'm down. It's on the field, rock. He said, you're the only one that will use the wood that I bring. He's this now. And he was a white boy, too. He was funny, so yeah. Mm -hmm.